Good day, everyone. Um, I'm Sister Mary Louise Wessel, and as we begin our prayer today, I'm reminded of how one of the saints described prayer as the rising of our hearts and minds to God. So as we begin today, let us do that. Let us raise our minds and hearts to God. The word pandemic comes from two Greek words, pan meaning all and demos meaning people. Today, we are dealing with a pandemic affecting all nations of the world. It occurs to me that never before in human history has there been so much shared sadness across nations. We are offering a prayer weekly at Catholic Charities to show our solidarity with all people affected by the coronavirus. This is also an opportunity for us to be connected as a community of faith at Catholic Charities. Each week we read the gospel for the coming Sunday for Catholic Charity services, reflect on how the scriptures relate to the mission of Catholic Charities and pray for all affected by the pandemic. This coming Sunday is in the liturgical year is um, the Solemnity of the Ascension of Jesus into Heaven. In the reading, we hear the last messages of Jesus to his disciples before he ascended to heaven. So the first reading is from the Gospel that I'll read is from the Gospel of St. Matthew, Commissioning of the Disciples. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. Another reading for this coming Sunday is from the Acts of the Apostles, describing the ascension of Jesus. Uh, Jesus said to the disciples, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, Samaria and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up and a cloud took him from their sight. While they looked intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men stood beside them. They said, men of Galilee, why are you standing looking up to the sky? This Jesus who has been talk taken from you into heaven will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. So for our prayer today, I would like to reflect on three points from, from those readings. The first point is about the mission of the disciples given to them by Jesus. As he neared the end of his time on earth, Jesus told the disciples to go make disciples of all nations, teaching them to observe all that he had commanded them. A footnote to this passage in the gospel states that all I commanded you those words of Jesus refer to the moral teaching of the church as found, for example, in the Sermon on the Mount. That teaching in the Sermon on the Mount begins with Jesus speaking about the Beatitudes. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. Blessed are the merciful. Blessed are the peacemakers. We also find a later, later in the Gospel of St. Matthew that Jesus said that when, whatever we do for the least of his brothers and sisters, we do for him. This reminds me of how important those most vulnerable persons are to Jesus and how we should care for them in our lives. This is what the mission of Catholic Charities is all about. All of us, staff and leadership of Catholic Charities, are finding ways to care for the most vulnerable persons in the midst of this historic pandemic. You are carrying out the moral teachings of Jesus in all of these activities currently carried on by the agency here. 
the, the second point to highlight today is the meaning of the ascension. As described in the Acts of the Apostles, when Jesus finished telling his disciples that they would be his witnesses to the ends of the earth, he was lifted up and a cloud took him from their sight. In a 2011 video called Why the Ascension of Jesus Matters, Los Angeles Bishop Robert Barron noted that it may be difficult for us today to understand the meaning of that passage where it says Jesus was lifted up and a cloud took him from their sight. In this passage, um, Bishop Barron points out that the ascension of, in his, in his video, Bishop Barron, Barron points out that the ascension of Jesus is not a space trip of Jesus into the sky. According to Bishop Barron, the key to understanding the ascension of Jesus lies in the understanding of the Jewish sense of heaven and earth, in contrast to the Greek version as found in early Greek philosophy, which continues to influence our views today. That Greek view dichotomizes this world, earth, and the higher world, heaven. To dichotomize is to regard or represent as divided or opposed. However, in ancient Israel, heaven is the realm of God and the angels, and earth is the realm of human beings, planets, animals. But the two are not in metaphysically separate spaces, according to the Jewish view at that time in ancient Israel. Rather, heaven and earth impinge upon each other. They interlace with each other. They interrelate. As a clue to this view of heaven and earth at the time of Jesus, Bishop Barron notes that Jesus uttered a very Jewish prayer when he said these words in the Our Father, in the Lord's Prayer, where Jesus said, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Here, Jesus prays for the coming together of heaven and earth. that the Lord may reign here. Lord, may you reign here as you do in heaven as part of Jesus, the prayer of Jesus in the Our Father. This coming together of heaven and earth is illustrated by Bishop Barron in many other ways too. For example, it is reflected in the great singing at church liturgies where our song goes up and we say, my, may our voices be joined with theirs. And here, theirs refers to the angels in heaven. So Bishop Barron points out another way where we see the connection between heaven and earth as the Jewish people viewed it in ancient Israel. So the ascension of Jesus in his body is not a space trip to the sky. It is a translation of this earthly reality into the heavenly dimension. After Jesus ascended, two angels appeared to the disciples and asked, men of Galilee, why do you stand here looking up into heaven? The message here is, now you go and do what Jesus did so that you can bring heaven and earth together. Bishop Barron concludes that this, that the ascension matters because it is the commissioning of the church to do its great work. That is the work carried out every day at Catholic Charities to now, 2,000 years later. The third point uh, for our reflection, God is always with us. At the end of the first reading, Jesus said to the disciples, I am always with you until the end of time, until the end of the age. A footnote to this passage states, the promise of Jesus' real, though invisible presence echoes the name Emmanuel, given to him in the infancy narrative in the gospel. Emmanuel means God is with us. That was the name given to Jesus too. This promise of Jesus is for all of us today too. As we go through these days in this pandemic, we trust that God is with us. Let us offer our petitions to God. For all of those who for whom we have been asked to pray by Catholic Charity Spirituality Committee since the pandemic began, we pray to the Lord. For all of our families and any special intentions of staff today, we pray to the Lord.
for all clients of Catholic Charities and their families, we pray to the Lord. For all staff of Catholic Charities on front lines, in shelters, in mental health programs, food program, food distribution sites, medical and dental services, those staffing the Hickey Center and all other agency sites that remain open, we pray to the Lord. For all first responders, firefighters, law enforcement officers, healthcare staff, grocery store workers, transportation, transportation workers, and all those who continue to work outside their homes, we pray to the Lord. For the leadership of Catholic Charities, as they provide guidance and support for staff each day, we pray to the Lord. For eternal rest for Gabriel of ACCS, and for comfort and peace for his family, we pray to the Lord. For all people in developing countries without resources or structures for food, shelter, and medical care during this pandemic, and for organizations like Catholic Relief Services, Doctors Without Borders, and UNICEF who reach out to countries most in need, we pray to the Lord. In thanks to God, for all the blessings we receive, even in the midst of this crisis, we pray to the Lord. We'll conclude we, as we finish our intention, your intentions. Lord, we ask you to hear all of these prayers that we offer today. For our, for our final prayer, a simple version of the, of the Irish blessing will be our final prayer. May God give you, for every storm, a rainbow. For every tear, a smile. For every care, a promise. And a blessing in each trial. For every problem life sends, a faithful friend to share. For every sigh, a song. And an answer to each prayer. Amen. May God bless us all.